Hi guys, how's it going? My name is Annie Faye. For those of you that don't know me, for those of you that do, hello, welcome back. Thank you for joining me again. I am in LA with Urban Decay. I have to have makeup done in like 30 minutes, so let's just get to it. Skin prep is done. I'm moisturized, and now I'm gonna go in with this Urban Decay primer. This is the All Nighter Face Primer. We are doing the welcome dinner tonight, so I really want the makeup to last, just in case we do something after, but I really have no idea if we're going to. And I'm just mainly gonna focus this where I get oily, but I am just kind of like taking it all over the face, I guess. Also, I don't know what's wrong with me, but it's like every single time I have an event or something, I break out. Like, what is this pimple doing here? I don't even usually break out on my forehead. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna go in with this Lancome Tian Idol Care and Glow Foundation. I have no mirror. We're just using the viewfinder and hoping that it looks good. Also, I cleaned all of my brushes last night and it is so, so satisfying now. Cause I, <laughs> it had been a while, I'm gonna be honest. It had been a while. While I am getting my base on, I do just want to thank you guys so, so much. It is still crazy to me. Like every day I wake up and I can't believe this is my life. And I owe it all to you guys. Thank you so much. I could not have done this without you. I wouldn't be here without you. I owe everything to you. So thank you so much for, I'm gonna get emotional and now is not the time. Thank you so much for watching my content and always commenting the sweetest things. You guys just bring me so much happiness. I literally don't know what I would be doing without you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I love you all so, so much. You have no idea. It's also just crazy because when I was a kid, Urban Decay was one of my favorite brands and to just have the privilege of being invited to be here with them is crazy. Like, I don't know. I don't even know. It's I have like severe imposter syndrome right now. Oh my god, there's like a hair or something on my nose and I can't get it and it's driving me crazy. It's so itchy. I'm just gonna pretend that that's not the most annoying sensation in the world because time is of the essence. I'm just going in with the Westman Atelier contour and I'm taking that on a BK Beauty 113 brush. Did I go in a little bit heavy handed? Perhaps, that's fine. We're just gonna blend, blend away. Actually, let's take the foundation brush. It's kind of stressful because you know, we're going to dinner with a bunch of makeup girlies and I feel like I'm rushing so my makeup isn't gonna look that good and now I'm like panicking and I know I'm gonna be self-conscious about it. I don't know why I didn't start getting ready sooner. I was actually just, um, I was actually just upstairs by the pool with one of the other creators and we just got to talking and lost, lost track of time and now I'm panicking. You know what, tonight at least is just the welcome dinner and I know to give myself a lot more time tomorrow for the actual event. So I didn't actually even tell you guys why we're here. We are here to celebrate the launch of the new 24 seven ink liners. I think I'm just gonna do like a soft glam look and then spice it up with a really cool like winged eyeliner. And then for tomorrow, I'm gonna try to do something a little bit more fun. I'm just going in with the Hourglass Vanish Blush in the shade Devoted and I'm applying that with the BK Beauty 112. I love this shade, it is literally so beautiful. Did I go overboard? Maybe a little. Honestly, no, now that I'm looking in the mirror, it looks good. Urban Decay Quickie Concealer, cause we gotta be quick. I think I'm so funny, even though I'm really not at all. Before I blend that out, we're going Urban Decay All Nighter. Don't stay because it's Urban Decay. And then I'm just using a brush to blend that out, I believe. This is the BK Beauty A506. And we are blending. Honestly, I kind of want to go in with a sponge, but we do not have the time to go wet one right now. I'm going to be honest. Taking my foundation brush again. I'm just going to blend everything. I feel like when you use the foundation brush, it's kind of like more seamless since everything blends together. You know what, we need a tad bit more blush. Powdering with some Makeup Forever. Where's my powder puff? Nor. Okay, taking the excess on the palm of my hand and 
and we're setting everything in place. I was on a flight today, so my skin feels pretty dry, so I'm definitely not gonna over powder. Just keeping it under the eye and by my smile lines. Just leftovers on the nose, because my nose gets really oily. <laughs> There's still a hair there. I'm also just gonna cover that pimple, because we do not want her making an appearance. Sigma Matte Bronzer on a Sigma F78. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And I'm also gonna use this Sigma Blush. This is in the shade Sunset Kiss. And I'm taking that on a Sigma F12 and just going over my cream blush. Powders are done, so we're doing more setting spray. And because I'm lazy to get my sponge, I'm just gonna pat it in with my puff. Never done that before, could be a risk. Eh, looks pretty good. I'm gonna take the concealer again that's going on the eyes and we're blending that out. I think I'm gonna go for like kind of a rosy soft glam. Just gonna set the concealer with a bit of powder first. Just taking the Sigma bronzer in my crease just to kind of make sure that everything is cohesive. Honestly, don't think I've ever done a full beat this fast, especially while like filming and chatting with you guys. I'm pretty impressed with myself. And then palette of choice is the Urban Decay Naked 3 Mini. They left this in the room. It is so cute. Look at those shades. I'm gonna take this shade here and that is going to be our transition shade even though we have the bronzer this is nice because it's more rosy under the eye too now with this tiny blending brush I'm taking this darker shade I'm just using that to create more definition going back in with that rosy shade we're gonna blend okay I have to save this look somehow cuz I don't know if I'm obsessed how we're looking. I'm gonna mix this shade and this shade and that's going on my lid. That's okay, the eyeliner's gonna save it, but what I'm gonna do is take the darkest shade in the palette and I'm just gonna use that to kind of map out where I wanna put my wing. Okay, time for eyeliner. Let's hope this saves the look. Very, very cool packaging. This makes it like super easy to hold. I actually love that. There she is. Oh my God, I have to stick on my press on nails too. How am I gonna do all this? Ooh, she's smooth. Time for brows. I'm going with my classic combo of the NYX brow pen. This is the best brow pen ever. We are behind schedule. I was supposed to be done makeup by now, but I'm not. Setting the brows in place with Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. Is one of them thicker than the other? Yep, a little bit, but that's just, I think, the way my brows naturally are. She needs to be a little thicker, so let's thicken her up a little. I really have to have my outfit save this look, cause I don't know if I'm obsessed. Maybe a half lash will save the look. No, I don't have scissors in there. Oh my God, my nails. No, you know what? I need to calm the hell down. When I'm freaking out like this, that's when I'm even slower because I'm like panicking. By the way, these are the Lily Lashes, the like butterfly half lashes in the style Sassy. While the glue dries, I'm gonna do lips powder first to ensure they stay put. This is Structure by Pat McGrath. Charlotte Tilbury Penelope Pink. I just blend that together. I don't know if the lashes are ready, but probably not my best lash application, but you win some, you lose some. I'm just trying to make it look less bad. I think we've learned one thing from this video and it's that I do not do well under pressure. I'm gonna go quickly do hair, nails, 
an outfit i'll be back sorry guys i actually ended up hating the outfit i chose so i had to try on like five more outfits and i had no time to film an ending but here's what i ended up wearing thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up it helps me out a lot feel free to leave me a comment down below i love chatting with you guys in the comments if you like this vibe subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye love you